the show that the world needs right now. Megan Miller, let me ask you, how many Democrat friends do you have outside of me, who is a moderate, but this year I'm a Democrat, <laughs> and and John Clark? How many, how many Democrat friends do you have? Um, offhand, I have... You, Matt, you're it. Nope, nope. I have actually some Democratic family members that... Um, unfortunately I can't talk politics with because it, it riles everyone up. So we have chosen not to talk politics. Um, there are, are a few coworkers of mine that are, I would say more towards the flavoring of John that are very middle of the road. They, they like some of the right and some of the left. Um, more often than not, they will vote to the left. Um, but to the platinum blonde side of moderate type of political people, <laughs> I don't. I don't have too many of them. Matt, you're. you're I am a. Ce- you're my, I am you're a my center special, right. You're my special platinum moderate. Platinum, platinum blonde is Nate Miller's mouth breather insult. That's uh, that's. <laughs> okay, so so here, here let's let let me let me let me. Uh, I'm on platinum. Uh, 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 okay, one, I am a moderate MAGA Miller, okay? Like, I am I am flyover country. I am a man of the people, right? So there's that. However, I said on election day, your, your, your wife is probably going to vote for Trump at like five in the morning, right? Uh, no, we'll, we'll <laughs> go after... After we're both done with work. John Clark. Yep. Where's your wife going with the election? How's she voting? So she and I have had a lot of conversations about this and and I want, I want her to be able to vote who vote for who she wants to vote for, you know? And so if she is, um, if she is, you know, leaning more towards Trump, I don't want her to feel bad about voting for towards Trump. But what I will tell you is that, Based on the conversations that we've had, some of the issues that are important to her, she is realizing that Trump is not as right leaning on some of those issues that you'd probably consider morality issues. And because of the way that she's seen me treated um, on this podcast, (laughs) because she's seen the comments, she knows what people are saying about me. Uh, I think she's leaning a little bit more towards the left as well. Ooh, Maga Miller, that's got to burn. Get some butt um, bomb for no. being butt hurt. No, I mean, I'll tell you, so the beautiful woman that I'm with, she's going to vote for Trump, right? And not vote the same way. Well, I mean, I, I think that's the thing is, is I think you you even have to, like in your relationship, you have to be able to allow for disagree. It's not like, what are you going to do if she doesn't want to vote for the person you want to vote for, Matt? Like, I mean, are you just supposed to like throw her in a dungeon the way that Trump throws Melania in a dungeon or like, I, good I honestly, <laughs> dude, I honestly think on both sides, I honestly think that there, there are liberals who would not date a MAGA person. Yeah. And there are MAGA people who wouldn't date a liberal person. And then this is how you get to the point where your Thanksgiving is a war zone because nobody can sit there and just be like, I don't agree with you. It's like me and the lady. We agree on 99% of stuff. Yeah. The one thing we don't. And it's like, and she even asked me, she was like, you know, because she watches the show and she was like, you know, I'm voting for him. Like, does that change the way you view me? And I'm like, Vote for whoever you want. Just don't try to convince me of doing yeah. it. You know? Yeah. And um, I think it's I think it's gotten sad that we cannot Maga Miller, I will never support what you support. Okay? That's okay. But I will def- I will defend your right for you to support that until you guys go and try to storm the Capitol again. <laughs> and conversely, I will do everything in my power to defend both you and John about your First Amendment right to speak how you wish to speak about whatever political party, 
you wish to speak about and defend and choose because that's that's the beauty of uh the experiment that we call america because we have these opportunities to have hopefully a civil discussion a lively civil discussion about different topics but at the end of the day i want nothing more than just to hug you guys in a non-sexual way because i'll let you two do that I don't know. You're a MAGA person. It might be a sexual way, actually, because y'all are in the closet. That's what those. That's that's where all those gay comments are coming from. Is Nate Miller's alt accounts? Um, yeah, all, all 100 of them that I have time to do. Yeah. No, but but honestly, I just, gentlemen, I, just, I, I I want to defend each one of yours rights to say and and believe and and follow through with your personal convictions. Do I agree with them? No. Am I going to kind of poke fun at them? Yeah, I'll try and do that. I won't be successful because you guys are, are st- strong, independent thinkers, just as I am. So Strong, that- independent women. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I thought we were going to play some Beyonce. <laughs> and, uh- no, I will say. I will say this. I think that, you know, we talked about like John and and his, his lovely wife, like they were kind of, you know, she was kind of leaning towards MAGA. Now she's coming over with John, you and your wife are going to uh, be MAGA all the way. And then I'm kind of like, in a, you know, if we were married, we'd be a split house, you know, kind of thing. That really is how America should be. Absolutely. Where it's like we're all pulling from different things. But I will let you know, MAGA. Oh when your kid goes to school with a furry, you can blame oh. John Clark and I. <laughs> Thanks, guys. When they're when they're pooping in litter boxes in the classroom. When you have that Haitian neighbor, that is John Clark and I's vote right yeah. there at work. Yeah, that's right. That's oh. right. When your cats and dogs disappear from your backyard. I can't wait to install jokes, I jokes. Think- I can't wait to install a tampon dispenser in my guy's locker room for uh, the basketball That's game. That's John's fault and mine. That's right. That's right. When, That's right. If, when, you're, if your football players can't feel comfortable going out there and tackling other men while they wear tampons, are they really football players, Nate Miller? <laughs> when you we'll lose all see. your guns. When yeah. you lose all your guns. That's John and I's fault. Suck on that, MAGA. <laughs> this is the Vance Show.